everyone, this is Tyler from JLMind, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're actually going to learn how to uh, ask for simple directions using basic Japanese, because, you know, you might need to do that when you're in Japan. And I prepared a three-step structure, and it goes initiation, question, and showing gratitude. But before we begin, why don't we go over a few uh, words, or in particular nouns, that might actually help you when asking for directions. For starts, why don't you check out these great examples? Eki, meaning station. Deguchi, meaning exit. Konbini, meaning convenience store. ATM, meaning ATM. Cafe, meaning cafe. Baste, meaning bus stop. Takushi noriba, meaning taxi stand, or a place to call and ride a taxi. And if you're looking for cheap but tasty food, why don't you check out these great examples? Matsuya, Sukiya, Yoshinoya. These are beef bowl restaurants. All three of them are really excellent. Koko Ichiban, the Japanese curry restaurant. Ramen, meaning ramen. Now let's get to practicing. When approaching somebody you want to ask a question to, always initiate it by saying, Sumimasen. Sumimasen. Next, you want to ask them the question by saying, la 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 la, wa doko desu ka? After they've helped you out, always show your gratitude by saying, Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ah, Tokyo Eki wa doko desu ka? Ah, Arigatou gozaimasu. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Uh, you just simply take a noun or a location, at the end add wa doko desu ka, and you're good to go. You're already able to ask for simple directions in basic Japanese. So if you're curious, uh, I provided you with some excellent uh, basic and excellent examples down below, so check those out as well. Oh, and always be sure to uh, show your gratitude at, at the end, especially if somebody helps you out uh, by saying arigatou gozaimasu, you know, it's, it's the polite way, it's the polite thing to do, right? Since JLMI classes are starting the 23rd of this month, it wouldn't hurt to get some basic or simple Japanese practice in, right? So for more information regarding JLMI's course and classes, be sure to check us out at our website, Facebook page, and at TripAdvisor as well. And be sure to subscribe for more on anything and everything, Japanese language and Japanese pop culture. 